Hello world, welcome back to my channel, my name's Paul. Look at this guys, I've just left Ravensthorpe Hope Town area. I'm heading up to Noanga up to show you the Horsepower Highway. If you remember we gave you a bit of a taste of that in the Katanning video. My plan was to go the long way up through the Stirling Ranges, but look at this. You can't even see anything, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It's only 7.30 in the morning. I'm kind of hoping this will clear up once the sun comes out because there are getting patches of lighter stuff here. So let's keep our fingers crossed that I can show you some amazing country through the Stirling Ranges. But for now, let's roll that intro. So I've just been driving blindly pretty much this morning, but I just stopped at the well in Wellstead. They've got a little picnic area thing and things here. Um, lovely friendly people. Now I know exactly where I'm going. This will take me up through the National Park, but um, I'll let you know each turn off as I take it. Now about 30 k's west of Wellstead towards Albany is Cogineer Up Road. Noisy trucks. Cogineer Up Road West. Now we're going to turn up here, that'll take us up to Chillin' Up Road, we'll turn left at the very end of Cogineer Up Road West, we'll turn left there, we'll go to the end there, that'll take us to Chester Pass Road, we'll turn right, and that'll take us up through the guts of the Stirling Ranges National Park, and I believe at the other side of the park, that's where the Horsepower Highway starts, and I might be wrong, but, and there is... Closer to Wellstead, there are other roads you can get up to Chillin' Up, but they're gravel roads. And you guys know how much I love driving these backcountry roads. But with all this water, all this rain, I figured I'd take the safe route and go down the bitumen. But I don't know if you can see it in this lens, but the, the ranges are just starting there. Just unbelievable, guys. I really am excited, but let's go and do this. Can't see the Stirling Range. Sorry I'm so dark guys, but it's the only way you can get them. You can see these ranges with this lens. Can't really do it justice guys. And this parking bay's got a, a lot of trees around it. So it has been raining, but I'm gonna take the risk, put the drone up for you guys. We're about 50k south of Noangra and it's the first tractor. We're on the Horsepower Highway now. If in the Katanning video you'll remember I showed you the beginning of the Horsepower Highway then. I said I'd come back and show you properly. Well here we are today. It's all these tractors along the road for about 87 kilometres I think but don't quote me on that guys. I haven't got my paperwork here. I could be completely wrong. Now. It won Best Rural Art, it got gold in Best Rural Art, it got gold in Best Sculpture Park, and it got silver in the Best Street Art Trail. So it's really put Noangra up on the map, but why Noangra up wasn't on the map before, I don't know, because look at this, guys. Just incredible. Sorry if that wind's blowing straight in the mic. Unbelievable, guys. The road from Albany to, to Noangra up, just unbelievable. But for now, I'm going to get back on the road. I'll show you a few more tractors. I'll show you Noangra. Isn't this amazing? I've said this so many times before, but West Australian tourism never fails to amaze me, guys. We've got maybe 350,000 people outside of Perth in the southwest of WA. And everywhere I've taken you, it's just set up for this amazing tourist things. And this is just on the side of the road, guys. We're still about 30 k's out on the horsepower highway, of course. But look at this. If any of the girls in this painting are watching the video, do me a favor. And um, oh, wow, it goes all the way around. Sorry, I'll try and show all of you. But yeah, comment in the comments below and say, yeah, I'm the one of the ones on the tank. Just incredible, guys. Sorry, I'm getting around here as quickly as I can. The women are the backbone of the rural community, and that's true. That really is true. Just unbelievable, guys. More West Australian tourism surprises. 
Even Mad Max has been on the horsepower highway. Look at these guys. They're, they're, yeah, I keep saying it, but the amount of work that people put into tourism in this state, just incredible. And really, if you look at this, this really does look like it could be one of the scenes in the original Mad Max movie. Well, guys, they really have put a lot of time and effort into some of these tractors. Just incredible. Look at this one. Philippines. Chiva bus, we'd call this in Colombia, I think. Janet will soon let me know if I'm wrong. Just incredible. There's another one. And um, I'm guessing, because this is one of those cranes that they have at the train, the old train stations, so I'm guessing this might have been a this might have been a railway line come along here before. The, there was a plaque on here by the look, but it's gone missing. Maybe they've just moved the crane here, but we've seen them in a few videos. Now, this is the old Ram Pavilion, and they've got a bit of a machinery museum in here now, but back in the early 1900s, they had a sheep show here that was really very successful and they tried reviving it after the war but it didn't quite work out but still this is this is the old shed and there's quite a bit of stuff in here you could spend an hour or two just looking around in there and this is very park welcome to no anger up heart of the sterlings so i was right the crc visitor center it is shut but i'm not surprised guys it is easter sunday it's my choice to do this this beautiful old building next door is the town hall. I think that top story must be an addition, but just gorgeous, 1923. Look at all the old buildings around here. Just amazing. Welcome to Noangra. This is the Shire offices, the older parts, 1929. This old steam engine, I'm guessing it was for clearing land. They must have just driven through the land with this big log up in the front knocking down trees ingenuity of man it's very sad that we knocked down all the trees but we're a very ingenious species okay so i just read all about it it's a it's a plow it's not a it's not for clearing land and it was first built in 1889 in england just incredible shipped over here and spent a lot of years working over here and there was definitely some money here in its day. Look at this gorgeous old building. No anger up hotel. Just stunning. And I've walked all around, guys. I can't find the, the little plaque that says when it was built. But just stunning. Look at that. It looks like there's accommodation upstairs. I'm not staying here tonight. I'm going through to Cogen up. But um, just gorgeous. And just on the local supermarket, these two amazing murals this one here and then we just walk the other side of the supermarket doors this one here incredible the sterling ranges in the background this gorgeous old church the anglican church was built in 1930 but i think there's been a lot of restoration done because if you look at the wall here it's nowhere near and in good a condition as the church itself and here's another part of the Heritage Trail. This is an avenue of memorial. All these trees were planted to remember fallen soldiers. If you remember in the Kings Park video, I've got the same thing. And I think in the Albany one, I've shown you at least two or three over the last couple of years. And just on the northern end of town is the Information Bay. Um, if you are here like me when the CRC, the visitor centre shut. Make sure you stop in here. There's, I'm surprised the amount of information on here. I'm going to take a photo of it. And this plaque here is to commemorate the Great Southern Expedition by John Septimus Rowe in 1835. So he would have come through here. 1835, guys, just incredible. And just here, this is the Pioneer Park, remembering the people that opened up the area and guys this is the Nyawanjerinj 
Heritage Centre and Keeping Place, the local uh, this Aboriginal... This is the Aboriginal Corporation. The Aboriginal Corporation. Our Heritage Centre is over at Oh, door. yes, I thought I'd, I'll go and show you that in a minute. Yes. Just amazing. I'm glad I got to meet you and I'd like to take this chance to thank the local Noongar people. Karina Woods. Karina, thank yes. you Karina. Yeah, just this is just such amazing country all coming up through the Stirlings and Beautiful. everything. Yes. So I do want to thank the local people for sharing this with us. Thank you. And this beautiful old building here is the Nyau and Jerring yes. Cultural Centre and Keeping Place. Oh, they've, you've put it in such a beautiful old building. I love this old style, just amazing. Yes, well that's a heritage building. And inside there, there's, uh, you've got the history on the wall of what's... Of the local people. Of what, uh, how, what it was, who it stayed here when it first opened up until... Amazing. Uh, we've got some of the histories uh, placed up on the uh, garden beds. Ah, uh, yes. So everybody can have a look at it. So everything here is kind of explaining the history of the local people and explaining the first arrivals of white people, I'm guessing. Yes. Oh, in there, it's the colonisation, you'll see yep. what's... I like, um, in our heritage centre, just talks about when our families, like, ancestors were here and how they worked yep. with the land and what they did, yes. And the stolen generation, stolen I guess. Generation, and yes. guys, we have, to, we have to acknowledge our past mistakes so that we can all heal together. Yes. I think that's very important. Yes, it is. And just behind the Heritage Centre, guys, they've got this nursery where all the local towns have got together, collected local seeds, and they're trying to bring back the bush to natural. Just amazing, guys. You've done a wonderful job here. I'm so Thank glad you. you were here when I got here because Thank I you. would not have known all of this. Yes. Just incredible. Now, these are the ruins from the old church from 1913. This was the site of the church from the early 1900s, I believe there was might have been a tent church here before that, but don't quote me on that. But this was, this one was built in 1913. And when I told you that before about the two gold medals and the silver medal, these guys won for their street art. I didn't mention that was Australia-wide um, a street art competition, um, a lot of love of competition. So it was a big deal that they won it, very big deal. Sorry guys, I'm going to keep these on. The sun's right there, it's really quite bright, especially considering what it was like this morning. You might recognise this place from the Katanning video. This is the beginning of the horsepower highway. I started at the other end this morning, but this is the official beginning. Now, if I'd done the direct route from Ravensthorpe to Noangra, it would have been a bit over 200 k's, where the way I went was more like 350. And, um, if you'd gone the direct route, you only would have seen the Stirling Ranges from a distance. You would have missed the Mad Max tractor and the painted water tanks. And was it worth it? I think so, guys, but I love to drive. I really do love to drive. So you're gonna to have to make up your own mind. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that Mad Dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below. May as well hit the bell icon while you're down there. I always try and respond to your comments. So leave a comment, give me a big thumbs up, share this video everywhere you can and um, we'll see you in the next one.